My name is Caroline Zimmerman, and I am the Conservation Program Coordinator at Upham Woods Outdoor Learning Center. Today, we are going to be learning about crown vetch. Crown vetch is an invasive plant species that invades prairies, roadsides, fields, barrens, and open disturbed areas. It's made its way from the Mediterranean region of Europe, Northern Africa, and Southwest Asia. It was introduced into the United States in the 1950s, primarily used for erosion control. This plant has white to pink to purple flowers. The flowers are found in clusters of 14 to 20 on long stalks. The flower begins to bloom in spring and stays until midsummer. The leaves are 2 to 6 inches long and grow in 11 to 25 narrow oval leaflets. The leaflets always occur in odd numbers. The seeds of the plant develop into long, slender, pointed seed pods containing three to seven narrow seeds each. These seeds will remain viable in the soil for up to 15 years. So why is crown vetch a problem? It climbs over and shades out native plants, and it alters native ecosystems through nitrogen fixation. Scribe ferns actually increase seed germination, which makes it especially hard to control in native grasslands and prairies. What can you do to help? Well, you can pull it. To pull it, reach all the way down to the bottom of the plant and pull up the pull root. Make sure you put it in a garbage bag and throw it away. By doing this, you ensure that the plant won't turn to seed and continue to spread. This invasive species pull can be counted towards the 10K by 2020 Conservation Challenge. This is a challenge where Upland Woods is focused on putting 10,000 hours of conservation service into the landscape by the end of 2020. Check out our website to learn more about this and to log your hours. If you log 10 hours of conservation service, you will receive a free Upland Woods t-shirt. Happy Invasives hunting!